welcome back to my channel welcome back welcome back welcome back <laughs> welcome back guys um so today's video we are just doing a simple balloon arch um right i've, I've used this like to do a tutorial for you guys before um i think that was like a year or two years ago so i just thought okay let's do um let's do it again um so right Welcome if you're new to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please, please, please subscribe to my channel and click that bell, that bell there. Click it so that you can get an alert when I upload a new video so that you don't miss out. So also, I see that people ask me a lot of questions in the comment sections. Um, yeah, I don't mind you asking the questions. I love reading your comments, but I would, most of the time, the questions are already answered in the description, like certain supplies. Um, if you don't find the actual link in the description, it would be in my Amazon store. So the link to my Amazon store is always in the description. So, so just click on it. And then if you don't find it, then you can message me. Because most times when you drop a comment, I'm not there to like respond immediately. And you might actually need that item really quickly if you get what I mean. So yeah. Um, so today's colors, we're using pink, we're using pistachio. Can you show you? So we're using pistachio the pistachio brand is from Patti deco i love this color it's really nice so we're going to be using it with pink and we've got um blush and the blush i have double stock because blush is like an essential commodity these days because of the nudes the bo boho thing that is everywhere now so for you to find blush will be difficult anyway so what i've done is i've double stocked this um, um pastel cream from Belba, yeah, pastel cream, so pastel peach from Belba. I stuffed it into vanilla from Bel Belba, so it gives me the blush I want, yeah. And then I've got um, Canyon Rose, this is Canyon, Canyon Rose from Top Tech, so it's like a lilac kind of color. So it's a Top Tech brand, Top Tech, they are really good, especially when you want to do like outdoor gar um, garlands and all of that. I recommend top tips. Really good, really good. Yeah. And then I've got pastel pink from Decotex. Yeah, so those are our colors. But before we get into inflating, I'm just going to show you. So this is a PVC pipe. Um, if you're in the UK, this is from B and Q. I got this from B and Q. And I know my people in the US, they get all stuff like this in their um, um DIY stores and all of that. Anyway. So they come in like two meters, but I've chopped up a bit of this. So this is not up to two meters at the moment. It's not up to two meters. Uh, so then you need your IKEA stand. So this stand is from IKEA. So this will serve as your base. Basically the best way to like create a, to create a square arch. If you're not doing the normal tradition, uh, traditional curvy arch some people might want to do like a square arch yeah so this is what i would use um and then the stronger one compared to this one this one is the um it's the El elasto plus or something i'm going to put a link in the description you can get it from b and q really um flow plus yeah it's flow plus and it's it comes in um um two meters height and the width is 21.5 mm so that's like 2.5 millimeters in 2.5 um, centimeters isn't it is that it i think I'm, yeah i think that's it that's the width so um i cut this one into one meter because i don't want the arch to be too big now you need the the locks the um i can't remember what it's called now sorry guys but yeah um yeah the elbow this is what links it so you're going to need this you just need two of this this one is like a three-way elbow and it's good for um when you want to do like a cube kind of i'm going to be showing you how to do that in another video um yeah so this is for when you want to make like a cube frame but because i can't find the second one of this i'm using this so it's equally to 21.1 millimeters so it sits on it fits nice and then this one goes this way 
Now, if you're worried about this moving, what you could do is you could tip, cable tie the bottom, cable tie, and then you, so sorry, you put a duct tape first, then you cable tie. So it stays in place. Just push it in, make sure it sits in properly. Okay. So that fits, so my frame is ready. So that's the frame. So let's get into inflating the balloons. So guys, time to um, inflate our balloons. Um, if you want to see a slow version of how I do my clusters, please check my beginners pl um, playlists on my channel. Um, it, you could also find it in the description so i just randomly inflate balloons into different sizes some in smaller clusters some in bigger clusters and when i say clusters i mean like um duplets two balloons tied together it's called a duplet um four balloons that is two and two wrapped together is called a quad yeah so you inflate them in and tie them together to make duplets and then when you wrap two sets together it's called a quad so i'm just inflating all the balloons right now and then putting it aside in different sizes so this second color i think i mentioned the colors i'm using um i'm using uh, a mix of blush Canyon Rose by Toftex. Um, the the greenish kind of one is um, Pistachio by Patti Deco. And then I'm using pink from Decotex. So the only double stuffed color is the blush. And the reason why I double stuffed it is because um, I couldn't find blush anywhere. Blush is kind of like extinct at the moment. So if you want to like create blush yourself, you could create it by using um, peach, like other brands like Sempertex brand or Belbel brand to make your, you just stuff it in white to create your blush color. So right now I'm just going to like wrap the balloons around the, base so uh, you can see it's a close shot so you see how i wrap the balloon around so you just wrap it around and it stays in place yeah and then you do the same thing for the next one and you just continue wrapping it around so it's like just the way you would build an arch well this is like an organic design organic balloon arch so as I always say in all my videos when I'm stacking the balloons on the column I tend to like um, think of the colors that would go next to each other I do not like um just slapping the colors on on the colors have to be like colors that would look good when stacked together so i start off with the other side by stacking same way I stacked the first side. Um, you could continue arranging like from the top, then you come to the other side. But because this is a tutorial, and I think it's even easier, you you, cl you can clearly see what you're doing. And then both sides will kind of like match a bit. Though a lot of times it's not easy for both sides to look like the same way. 
when you're creating an arch, like a full arch with garlands, you know, um, garlands could be halfway, you know, it could be midway and all of that. But if you're doing a full arch, um, I tend to see that most of the time an organic full arch doesn't like look the same way on both sides. So if you want to ensure it looks like at least good together like it looks the same way on both sides then yeah do it the way i've done it here so guys if you're new to my channel before we carry on please remember to subscribe to my channel um a quick appeal please try and watch the ads that the ads helps the channel a lot so watching the ads is the only way um we get a little something from youtube and that little something helps me in buying supplies um to create my videos and i think it's the same for every one of us to especially in this hard times of um you know covid and all of that yeah So I'm at the top now and I know some of you would want to see a close up on how I wrap it around at the top. So this is how I do it. Um, the only way you would find it difficult to, you know, to wrap around is because you're scared. Oh, I might pop the balloon or whatever you, but you do not worry. Do not be scared. The balloons won't pop. Just wrap it around. Um, so I'm putting my five inches now randomly on different spots. So I'm using a mix of five inches and a mix of 11 inches. So three 11 inches with five inches on top. This is to, um, this is to like close up the gaps. So just keep adding your clusters to random spots no stress um you could make it as bulky as you want uh, another thing you could do you could make the base you know you could extend it it doesn't have to be just straight but this is just i think it's cute for a house party um first birthday party at home Another tip I would share with you guys is when you put your when you arrange your frame, that is when you make the arch stand to secure it, you could actually like tape the upper part or use um, cable ties to give it ex extra security. So you would see that in some spots, um, the canyon rose, I haven't like, I, I don't have like five inches of the canyon rose. So what I did was I just inflate on that inflated some of the 12 inches, sorry, 11 inches canyon rose. And it worked as my five inches. If you want to know more about me using 11 inches for five inches, please check out my other videos on my channel. I do that technique a lot. Though some people would prefer it this way, um, but why if if they can pay for wow, why don't you go for wow wow? Do you get what I mean? All right. 
Let's put the flowers. So my flowers, I've got they've got really long stem. I need to get uh, the, the floral scissors to like cut it. I don't like the fact that the stem is kind of like long. Um, so yeah. So um, I know a lot of people would ask about where I get my flowers from. I get it from www.wintontons.biz. I always put the info in description. Please check description for the name of the website. Make sure you spread out your flowers. You don't want it to bunch up in one part, especially if you're not using a lot of flowers. So make sure the beauty of, you know, what will make this act extra beautiful is had adding a lot of flowers. Um, yeah, so make sure you have loads of it and you spread it out evenly. Uh, okay guys thank you for joining me on another beautiful tutorial if you're new to my channel and have not subscribed yet please remember to subscribe this channel is great for all you beginners um and i think even if you know 